PK52, the Saturday morning meeting. Well, you know what? It's out. March 31st, 2022, new GR platform, Corolla. I know I posted on social media. It's out there right now, and people are starting to talk about it. So let's talk about when this thing's available. Let's say fourth quarter this year. Um, ones, they're coming in ones. They're not coming in tens and hundreds. They're coming in ones. And so be prepared for that, but be prepared for the traffic and the buzz about the new technology coming out in that GR lineup. So let me take you back a few weeks ago. As I started talking about Tundra, um, I made some claims. The engineering marvel of this brand new Tundra is unbelievable. 42 engineers fly to Japan, come up with a brand new F platform and build this thing with uh, amazing different components that I've talked about in the new program I wrote and that I've talked about on the Saturday morning meeting. So the crazy thing about this is, is now we've developed all this horsepower. We've got another generation of the Tundra coming out in any minute now, which goes up horsepower and torque, the iForce Max. And so those two stand alone. And I, we should have retired the name Tundra. I, I, I'm just saying, it had a good run. It was phenomenal. We should have called this the Land Cruiser truck. So what we've done is we've taken the most capable luxury off-road vehicle on the planet Earth and we put a pickup truck bed on the back of it. That's exactly what we've done. And it's unbelievable. And nothing else, if you look at lineup from initial truck all the way to iForce Max, there's not another truck lineup in America that can sell at the same rival of that truck right there. So that right there, let me put that behind me and let's talk about the GR. And let's talk about what this has done. So, I don't know, let me do one more second. So now that we've seen Tundra, you know what Sequoia is going to be. You know. You know, right? Unbelievable. And then we've got a new 4Runner coming. So give me a twin turbo V6 and a 4Runner. I'm not claiming anything that I know anything. I'm not saying, but can you imagine a 4Runner and you're going like, whoa, this is too much power in a 4Runner. Can you imagine? And then right after that, an all new Tacoma with a twin turbo V6 power plant in that with crawl mode, multi-train select. I, I don't... The next couple of years for Toyota, as far as revolutionary product that people will wait in line for, we have coming. And now, let's say fourth quarter, let's say the GR drops, fourth quarter 2022, as of 2023, and they're coming in ones. Gang, I don't want to ever lie to you. They're not coming in tens. They're not coming in hundreds. They're coming in ones to a dealership near you. So it's going to be a very one-off vehicle, but people will wait for this vehicle. So let's talk about it a little bit if you haven't heard anything about it. It's a 1.6 liter, uh, three-cylinder beast with 300 horsepower and 279 pounds-feet of torque. I mean, it, it, so let's take the Corolla and let's pump 300 horsepower in that thing right now. Unbelievable. But that's, that's a start. You get a one-year membership to the National Auto Sports Association. That includes track time. So this is not your grandmother's Corolla. This thing is made to be put on the track right now, and there's a membership that goes along with the purchase of this vehicle. It's got a triple exhaust. It's all-wheel drive. Now, all-wheel drive in a whole different mode. You get to set the drive mode that you're in. Initially, you might want to be in 60-40. at 60% front, 40% rear. So closed circuit course, inner racing. You don't, you don't want to make sure you get every apex line. You don't want any drifting. You don't want any back end out. You want that car to hug the front. So you want that front drive 60-40. If I'm drag racing, because it's 300 horsepower, I'm, I might as well drag race somebody. Then I can select another selection, and now I'm 50-50. So I've got two selections here, 60-40 or 50-50. Wait a minute, is there a third? Yes, there is. There's a third. It's 30% front, 70% rear. Let's go out on a closed road and let's drift the car. Let's do some drifting with 70% to the rear drive. So these are three different toggles that you can select your drive mode. So you bought three circuit driving cars in one car, and they're all set up different. Unbelievable. Um, there's two models. There's the core and the circuit model. So core model and circuit model. Core comes in white, black, and red. And the circuit model comes in red, white, and uh, heavy metal. I have not seen that color, but if you get that heavy metal, everybody knows that you're in a circuit. We've always, we, our, our assembly line process at Toyota, bar none, is the best in the world. Uh, people from all over the globe have come and looked at Toyota's assembly process because there is none better out there. But we've gone away from that in Japan, building this new GR platform. It's called a cell technique. 
And so instead of the car going through a line, it breaks into a cell for experts to build. So you don't get, you just don't hire on an hourly wage and start building these cars. Only experts in the division of that cell build that component, frame, suspension, braking, engine, all that is done by the experts. And the cool thing about it is by creating experts in this GR line, if we want to send a pack of those experts to a Tundra plant or a Forerunner plant or to, the, to Georgetown, Kentucky, to the Lexus in, in Cambry plant, then we can. And now we're developing these super, super, super engineers as our future I mean, everything they're doing right now gets me fired up about the next generation of what we're going to produce. There's a performance package. If you buy the performance package, you get a Torsen limited slip differential setup. Torsen is torque sensing. So that means there's even more control in the cornering and the distribution of power to the front, rear, and side to side. They went with McPherson struts in the front, and I guarantee you they went with those struts in the front because of of, of weight savings in that front, and they can manage the coils. In the back, because of space savings, they went with a double wishbone suspension, so you have strut double wishbone. 14-inch front rotors for piston calipers. So we have built a dynamic car. I don't have a price point for you yet. I don't have gas mileage for you yet. I do know that we have Safety Sense 3.0 in this car because you're going to probably need it because the car is going to be everything. So this is not a car for me. I'm not, I'm not even interested. In, I'm interested in somebody else getting this car. But what interests me is in our last two offerings, the Tundra and the new GR package, the revolutionary engineering that Toyota has coming is unbelievable. We are in a deficit of new cars. Customers are buying outside the Toyota brand because they can go somewhere else. And for some reason, they have less production than us, but they have cars in stock. The only reason they would have cars in stock is because they're incomplete and they're selling them incomplete or their brand is just not in demand. Toyotas are in demand right now and customers are willing to wait. For all the people that have jumped into this market and bought a car while we haven't had any, which has made a lot of people a lot of money and made the market really strong in the automotive world. There is a bunch of brainchilds out there right now that are saying eventually this curve of deprivation of product will be over and there'll be availability back and we'll have that set of people coming in. They're going to be trading older cars because they're going to keep their cars longer. So make sure the thing that we need to do is we need to partner up with service right now because the longer we can keep somebody in our service drive, the better chance we have as those people fold into the market as product comes back is to get them back because they're already at our store. We're talking about people that normally trade cars in three to four years are now trading cars, maybe five, six, and seven-year-old cars. Look at some of the rental cars coming back from Avis and Hertz. These are super high mileage cars. Um, that are three, four, or five years old because they haven't been able to get cars either. So it's an interesting dynamic as we move out of the deprivation into product availability. But while we're in that limited availability, Toyota has not stopped creating the best of the best engineering marvels that the world has ever seen at a price that virtually everybody can afford. PK52, the Saturday morning meeting.